मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज जिम रॉय दैट इज ग्रोस मार्जिन रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट जिम रॉय इट इज बेसिकली आइडेंटिफाइड बाई द कंपनीज एज एन इवेल्युएशन मेथड ऑफ प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी फॉर द कंपनी टू सी हाउ मच इट इज एबल टू कन्वर्ट अबव द एक्चुअल कॉस्ट ऑफ द इन्वेंट्री सो बेसिकली द कंपनीज वॉन्ट टू सी हाउ मच दे आर प्रॉफिटेबल ओवर द एक्चुअल कॉस्ट ऑफ द इन्वेंट्री that they are bearing and gives them a basic idea of are they going profitable or not right now when we talk about the formula of jim roy it is basically gross margin divided by the average inventory cost right now the average inventory cost is basically your inventory that you buy every month over a certain period of time let's say 12 months so let's say if you buy uh, 10000 dollars worth of inventory every month every month right so the average uh, inventory cost would be uh, 10000 10000 10000 uh, you know 10000 to 12 right divided by 12 so obviously that gives you an average inventory cost of 10000 right so that is invent- average inventory cost talking about gross margin so gross margin basically uh, further breaks into a formula that is net sales minus the cost of goods sold right so net sales minus the cost so let's say uh, over a certain period of time let's say 12 months the company sales are net sales are worth 1 million right and the cost of goods uh, is basically uh, let's say 100 500000 uh, right so that means the gross margin is net sales that's 1 million minus the cost of goods so that is 500000 which basically leaves out $500,000 as the gross margin now this gross margin divided by the average inventory cost will give you the jim roy that is a gross margin return on investment now when you talk about jim roy it is preferable that jim roy should be basically more than one because if it is not more than one that that means you are directly going into losses right and as per company standards retail standards uh jimra more than 3.25 is actually preferable because if you remember we are just considering the cogs which is the cost of goods sold that is the only the cost that is directly associated with the inventory in terms of its production it does not include its uh deliverability cost so the transportation then your retail costs your taxes and uh, employee uh, allowances so all those costs are not associated in cogs right so this is still not a perfect uh, profitability analysis when you say that's why it's called gross right uh, in the terminology so yeah so let's take an example to give you a more uh, conceptualized idea of how jim roy basically works okay so let's say there are two companies so company a the net sales is basically let's say it's 100 million right and its cost of goods sold is 15 million and its average inventory cost is 20 million so 100 minus 15 divided by 20 will give you approximately 3.25 as a ratio of jim roy right now this 3.25 basically means that for every 1 dollar that the company is bearing as cost of the inventory it is earning 3.25 dollars so that's jimra so for a company that's really important so for a company to know that okay for every 1 dollar they are spending they are earning 3.25 dollars so obviously they are at a profitable position and then obviously they can see how they want to mark down mark up depending upon how much inventory they are holding all those decisions come up obviously other expenses are also subtracted to keep the company in a profitable state and with 3.25 as jim roy there are high chances that the company will be profitable now talking about the company b let's say the uh, company b does a uh, net sales of 80 million right but its cost of goods sold is 65 million right and the average inventory is 20 million so 80 minus 65 that's 15 divided by 20 that leaves out the company at 0.75 cents so for every 1 dollar that the company is spending uh, or is bearing the cost it's just earning 0.75 cents 
that's a loss of 0.25 cent on every dollar that the company is spending so the com company EP is definitely a loss making company and this is how Jim Roy gives you a basic idea of how the profitability, uh, profitability analysis of the company is going on and what all initial and quick steps need to be taken and obviously further detailed analysis are also due and um, in the coming videos we would definitely learn about them what are net sales what are gross margins net margins uh, cost of goods sold the video is already up i'll uh, leave the link in the video itself so you can go and check out the video for cost of goods sold yeah, that that's already up on the channel and yeah so i think these mathematical implications and these mathematical formulas are really important to actually understand the whole uh, retail industry the whole uh, science and the whole maths behind the number game basically so it's really important to understand the number game and yeah in the coming videos we'll do that and yep yeah, hit the like button do subscribe and please follow for more thank you